Hey folks, we're back again, and we've got a neat little easy game. Mm -hmm. This is this is in the what what level of would you put this set on scale of one to five? How easy is this? Uh, like a two. Two point two. Yeah. Is what I said. <laughs> two point two. It's three, not so repeating. easy that it's boring. No. But it is not hard at all. Like no. it, it's and it's it's like boy, uh, we just played. To put this in perspective, mm -hmm. we just played Spirit Island, and this was kind of the great, like, come down from yeah, that. It's like uh, getting your stretching in after a hard workout. It's uh, <laughs> it's 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 much. It was uh, yeah, well well received after that hard brain burner of a game. So it's a nice relaxation game. Herbaceous Sprouts is from Pencil First Games. I. To be, I got this at a local game store, but I think that there was a Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. That and uh, and I think that this is actually maybe a spinoff of another game, Herbaceous. Okay. Uh, there's another whole game, and it had a its own crowdfunding campaign. So, mm -hmm. but I did find this at retail, uh, very inexpensive. Like, it, it, I I think it was less than thirty dollars or so. Okay. It's got a lot of uh, custom dice. I'm not sure how many, but it's got a whole bunch of these custom dice that are very colorful and pretty. And they have uh, little selections of herbs. And the theme of this game is we're planting a garden. And uh, in the, the way you get points in this game is by... Uh, you roll these dice... We're going to roll these dice and then draft them each round. Uh, after you draft the dice, they'll go into what's called your wheelbarrow, which, which is a little tableau right here. You'll then be able to cash in these dice to fill in areas on the garden board. And the garden board will have different things like uh, ones that match, ones that don't match, pairs that match, and then also some different flowers to plant. So there's mm -hmm. a there's a lot of little spaces to fill in that are worth points. And uh, the one the card that we is not picked because the you have one more card in your draft than the amount of players. And the card that's not picked will become weeds and kind of crowd out one of the potentials for points. And you just go through the cards. And when you're done with the cards, that's the whole game. Very simple. Nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah, the the uh, components are pretty pretty nice. Uh, these dice have little stickers on them, so they're, um, they're fine. Yeah, it's, uh, you don't really need anything more than that. They're very clear, easy to, to see what each one of the individual herbs are, as well as the flowers. Um, yeah, fairly just uh, like a pleasant... Uh, what you, would you call that? Somewhat of a set collection esque dice. Yeah, I get, yeah, you're kind yeah. of collecting sets mm -hmm. uh, or anti sets, I guess. Yeah. So, like you was saying, you got uh, well, you got the areas on the board that are worth more points in different sections, but they all are going to refer to either having the same, everything different, or pairs of them, and whoever's first in each one of those sections can pick the higher level spot yeah so the decisions that you make on the game are, are fairly easy it's it's usually going to be obvious what you want it doesn't take much thinking as you look some of these cards that come out too are going to have special tools on them that give you like a one-time ability as well as some some little flower pots that give you like a ongoing icon that you can use to complete those sets with as well uh, alongside of your dice so those are those are nice to hang on to or especially early in the game well they uh, add on to your tableau so you mm -hmm. always have them kind of like splendor when you uh collect different gems and you have a little like a little mine of a uh, particular types of gems and stuff yeah so it's it's a nice relaxing kind of uh, I, I guess you'd call this like a filler game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, something to kind of fill in the spaces either between uh, some more uh, heavy weighted games or just something if you don't want to have to use your brain like crazy hard. <laughs> like it was, it's relaxing. It's it's peaceful. You're just playing in the garden. And it's it's like it's, people like to play in their garden at home to relax and to kind of like meditate a little bit. So it's. Somewhat it, meditative in that sense. There's not really too many stressful. I think it really it, it really captures. There's something about you know, yeah yeah you know, pulling it, you just pull the dice out mm -hmm. as you pull the cards out and you roll them and you set them down, uh, and then it's just a matter of do you want these dice or not. 
There's always something to do. I never got stuck with dice that I couldn't use or anything. Mm -hmm. There's always some way to use whatever you get. So it's you, it's difficult to feel unproductive, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the way that you pull it. And it's all just kind of a matter of efficiency. And it's kind of fun, too, as you get to... This, that's going to change hands as far as who gets to pick from the selected die at first as well as the tool card that they're sitting on so it's kind of it's kind of fun to trade that back and forth and you know and you know the other person's going and you're rolling the dice and setting them out and then you're like ah oh, crap he's going to get the one that i want but otherwise it comes back to you on the next round and you're like oh yeah i get to pick first and i know i'm going to get that one so it's, it's got a li just that little, little bit of excitement enough to, to, to make it uh, each round kind of fun. And this is a great one to pull out with your mom yeah. or, or somebody that uh, mm -hmm. maybe you were going to play a lighter game with. Uh, I yeah. think kids would pick this up. Oh, pretty yeah. good. This says, this says it's for uh, eight, eight and up. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and that makes yeah. sense. That yeah. makes sense, eight and up. Mm -hmm. this is, so long as they won't swallow the dice, I think you're good. And 30 minutes, yeah. that's probably right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty quick game it uh, plays we do ten, it plays fast yeah, yeah yeah 10 rounds with three people or two people was it two to three this is the third 30 cards three yeah cards yeah around. yeah so three cards around and you're doing a 30 card deck so unless you do a larger game nobody got the lemonade <laughs> if you <laughs> if you if you cover your your space like if you have a a, a little sprout and and a flower in each one of the four sections, you got at least one, then you get a little extra two-pointer. But neither of us got that, but it didn't make that big of a difference on the points. No, you still beat me like crazy. It happens. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, occasionally. I like this game. I, I, it'll, it'll stay in my collection just because uh, it's the kind of thing that yeah, uh, sometimes mm -hmm. you just need an easy game. Yeah. You know, and if I don't know what to play, if someone's like. Well, especially young folks, when they come over to the house, they see this room full of games. And if I don't have something I can pull out yeah. that's easy and fun, and if they love it, if they love board games, we'll stay and play whatever they want. But, mm -hmm. you know, just to kind of get that initial experience going, uh, it, it's fun to have quick, easy games like this. Yeah, yeah, especially if you've got, like, you're, you're going where there's a lot of people playing games together, board game meetup or something like that. <laughs> And you've got someone bringing their kids with them, and sometimes it's like, oh, okay, we got this game. It's not terribly difficult, but you've got like a ten-year-old child, and you're playing a game that's really more like fourteen, fifteen-year-old and up, and and they and that's nice to to have that option to pull it out and make everybody feel included. So, or if you want to hang out for thirty minutes uh, and, yeah. and play something, so that uh, the guy you play side with is done. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, or whatever you were planning to do. If they're no. otherwise occupied, you could occupy yourself for 30 minutes and have a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 So it was nice. It's a nice game. So Owen and I like to do this thing where uh, one of us has played the game a lot mm -hmm. and the other per or, or enough and another person uh, has never played the game before. We play the game out. We try it out and we see how we like it. This was another one of those. Uh, we've done this quite a bit mm -hmm. and I've got a playlist right here if you'd like to see more. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, we'd love to see you again. Click like on your way out. Enjoy your games, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.